With Virtual Crash 4, importing a scaled aerial image is a breeze. Just left click on the Google Maps tool icon. Type in the location. Adjust the view window size. Left click and drag to translate your view left, right, up, or down. Use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Press save and you're done. Your Google Earth aerial image will be automatically imported into your scene to scale. You can drag and drop your total station measurements into your scene to ensure accuracy. Note, total station data handling has been significantly improved in Virtual Crash 4. Want to import a larger area but maintain high image quality? Use the region selection option to lasso a larger region of interest. Virtual Crash 4 will automatically download an array of high quality image tiles and create a mosaic for you. It's easy. Drag and drop your vehicles into your scene and create your simulation or animation. Want to include Google's terrain elevation data into your simulation environment? You can import terrain data in either default or region selection mode. Just select a number of point samples you want to include from Google's terrain elevation database. You can choose a 50 by 50 point array, a 100 by 100 point array, or 150 by 150 point array. Press save and Virtual Crash 4 will create a terrain mesh constructed based on the terrain elevation data from Google's database. Because we used the Region Selection tool here, Virtual Crash 4 saves both a directory of Google Earth image tiles and your terrain mesh in the project menu. Want to use your terrain mesh as a simulation terrain object? Left click on the mesh, then left click on Make Terrain from Selection. Now you can drag and drop your vehicles on top of the simulation terrain object and create your simulation or animation sequence. Your vehicles will move in 3D as they interact with the terrain. Virtual Crash, the intuitive software application for accident reconstruction analyses, and more. Log on to vcrashusa.com and download a free trial, or request a live demonstration today.